Creating parts and cables in Blender can be a bit annoying, but Hardops makes it into a you know one-click joke. So if I wanted to run a pipe on this edge here, all I need to do is go to Q menu and curve extract, move my mouse, press S, done. And if you wanted to add more segments, Ctrl 1 to add subdivision and you're finished. That's how easy it is to create pipes with you know with hardops. But there is much more to it. So watch this. What we can do also, we can grab this uh, edge again, go to Q, Curve Extract, and if you press H, you will see this uh, menu that's going to be assigned to Curve Extract. So all these commands you see here, you can use with this tool. So for example, if I press 1, 2, 3, I can change between different profiles. I can scroll my mouse to you know change the uh, resolution of this. I can press F to change the fill mode. And this one is interesting because I can do, for example, something like this. So I can move it in here and create this kind of like a lip and this starts looking like a sci-fi wall. So now what I can do is I can convert it to mesh because at the moment it's a curve. So control A and visual to mesh. Select this edge here, right? So let's alt click this and, you know, run a curve on this, press S. Then grab this one, alt click Q and curve extract then press S. And then I can add more stuff in here, right? So let's just uh, make it a bit more interesting so it's not so uniform. And GG, move them up here, right? Move one more in here, and then select all these Q, curve extract, S, and you got yourself, you know, cables. And if you want to add more subdivision to it, easy. You can select them all and control one, and you're gonna have really nicely subdivided cables. And with this one here, the one in the middle, we can simply run a solidification on it. So. Q, go to modify solidify, press 2 to solidify both ways. And, uh, you know, you got yourself uh, this kind of a situation. This is a bit too thick. So let's go to uh, modifiers and, you know, adjust this a bit like that. Right. And add some bevel to it and you're good to go. And you got this kind of a sci-fi wall. Now, like I said, uh, more uses to it. Like, for example, you can, you know, extract a face with curve extract like this, right? Which is really cool for creating panels, but that's another story. Now, if you would like to learn more about hardops and box cutter, we have a fantastic course that's called The Ultimate Guide to Hardops and Box Cutter. And this one will teach you literally all the tools, all the menus, all the tricks you need to know and how to model really quickly using Blender. We estimate you can model up to eight times faster using these add-ons. They're extremely fast and allow you to perform complicated operations with one click. And this course will teach you all the menus, all the tools and also my workflow. There is a massive section on practical use of these add-ons where we're going to be modeling this cool sci-fi truck. There is a section on advanced settings and tools so you can watch that and decide what tools you want to use and how and you can create your personalized workflow that suits your needs anyway going back here so let me show you another trick and this one is really cool as well so let's say i wanted to run not a pipe like this but a cable which you know usually you use curves for that now for cables normally i would use cable writer because you know it's so much fun and it's easy to use but if you would like to use hard ups you can do it as well so let's say I'm going to have this, um, you know, uh, curve here and I'm going to I don't know, extrude it in here, make it a bit larger, you know, maybe twist it a bit and we're good to go. And now we can create a cable. So let's go here and, you know, curve extract and boom. And then obviously you can keep adjusting it. You can extrude it like this, pressing E, you know, adjust the handles, do whatever you want. But you can also revert back to the geometry, which is a really interesting trick. So if you go here to Q menu and curve extract, you see on the bottom when I press X, I'm going to revert back to curve. Now I can convert this curve into a mesh. And when I do that, I can adjust the shape of this curve a little bit differently by using vert. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to check or deselect all this. To make it less dense so we can go here to check our deselect and we're going to control x we're going to dissolve these verts because we don't need so many at the moment and i'm going to extrude this edge like this and combine them in here then i'm going to grab all these points here right and i'm going to shift control b to smooth them create more or less uh, maybe not as dense more or less the same amount of you know verts here and there then I'm going to grab these edges, right? And I'm going to subdivide them to add more geometry. These are more or less the same length, so we can, you know, subdivide them like this. This one is a bit longer, so we're going to add that many. And here too, and just scroll it down and maybe add two, right? Cool. 
Now you see we got a problem because we're gonna get this nasty corner here. So if I convert this to curve, it will not work very well for me, right? So if I go to mesh tools and curve extract, I'm gonna get this nasty corner. But what we can do, we can use a tool that's a free tool called Mira Tools, and you can get it on GitHub. I have a video on how to install it and where to get it from. So watch that video. I'm not gonna be explaining it here, but the only tool really I use from this add-on is this C stretch or curve stretch. So what we can do here is we can, you know, select a specific section here, go to curve stretch, and you can with, with your mouse scroll adjust the number of points, control points that you want to add. And then you can, you know, readjust this curve here a little bit. Now you see, even though we fix this corner here, we still have this corner here, and some of these transitions could be a bit better. So what we can do is select everything, right click, subdivide, then we can curve stretch, scroll up to maybe, I don't know, 50, right? Or maybe 40 and click. And it's going to, you know, sort of smooth out everything that needs to be smoothed out. And you can go here to mesh tools, curve extract, right? Press S and then press Control one and you got yourself a nice cable. So you can do some really cool stuff. Uh, it looks a bit like a diving mask or a, I know, a part of a diving mask will a bit distorted, but you know what I mean? So you can create some really custom shapes with your cables. We can combine this maybe with physics to drop the cables on your mesh, whatever. And you know, you can have a lot of fun. So you can combine this also with cable rater and creating cables and pipes was never easier. It's literally just a, you know, a one-click deal and you can create as many as you want. So this is how I approach cables and pipes when I model. And like I told you, this tool, the Curve Extract tool, has other uses as well. So for example, I'm just going to give you another tip here. If I wanted to create a panel uh, from this cube, right, I can do it very easily using you know, Shift Curve Extract and it's going to create a panel. Now I got a specific video on panels, so go ahead and watch that. And I'll show you other interesting ways of creating panels using also box cutter. And they, you know, they just one click deal to create these details, which makes uh, creating panels into a joke. By the way, if you would like to learn more tricks and tips on hard ops and box cutter, like I said, we have a fantastic course, the ultimate guide to hard ops and box cutter 2.0. This course packs six years of my personal experience with these add-ons. I show you all the tools, all the menus, and also how to use them in practice i show you my personal workflow and which tools i'm using and also i show you advanced tools and settings which are not explained in the documentation which is at the moment heavily outdated so in fact there's no other source or complete source of knowledge on these add-ons on internet the only place to go is literally our course so go ahead click the link in the video description read about the course watch the video on our website and grab it it's a fantastic course and you will learn a ton and your workflow is going to be eight times faster so imagine how much time you will save by using these add-ons it's insane anyway that's it for the video i hope you enjoyed it and learned something useful thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video